Another hotel room video, my friends. What is going on? Oh, I am so ready to be back in my studio. Again, if you haven't caught a video yet where I've been in this beautiful setup, I'm currently out of town on business, not for YouTube, for my insurance day job. And so I am now recording videos to help keep me sane from a full jam-packed day of insurance lectures, which were actually really good, but... I'm ready for some YouTube. So we're all super excited for Geonosis territory battles, right? In all seriousness, I am cautiously optimistic about Geonosis territory battles. While the first couple versions of territory battles we had um, have turned into a very stale game mode, I am anxious to see if Capital Games can make this not stale. From where I sit, I don't see why they would just release another mundane version of Territory Battles. And so I'm going to go over in this video all of the things that we know so far about Geonosis Territory Battles that I could find. I just spent several hours going through and trying to find every single comment the devs have made about Geonosis Territory Battles. Now it's very possible I'm missing one or two things. If I did miss anything, let me know down in the comments, but I think I got it all. And then I want to cover my hopes and dreams for this new game mode coming. There's a few things I think it definitely needs and deserves, and we will cover six specific items that I'm really hoping to see with the new Geonosis Territory Battles. Now, we actually will be getting more information about this this Friday. A lot of you may have missed this tweet. This is from my friends over at the Escape Podcast. This is actually a new podcast in Galaxy of Heroes, and I don't know how these guys did it, but they landed an interview with CG Carey on their June 7th show. So that's going to be this Friday, and it says they're going to be talking about the new TB map slash event and some new characters that will be released during the Clone Wars content and much, much more. More And so if you want to see that, definitely be sure to check that out. That info is going to be dropping on Friday. So the first half, what we know, first of all, is that we are going to get Gear 12 finishers with the Geonosis Territory Battle. Now, it's also been confirmed since that we're going to have that with the Grand Arena Championships as well. So we know we'll have at least two ways of earning those Gear 12 uh, finishers, which are going to take you to Gear 13. And that came through this comment right here here um so that kind of caused a bit of a hoopla and it kind of connects to some things that i want to see with this game mode but a lot of the concerns that most of us have is are we are struggling just to get the gear 12 plus gear and so hopefully that's a concern that gets addressed next thing is we know that we are getting a new capital ship and we're pretty confident we know that it's a malevolence and this is where that comes from crumb actually made a post recently just addressing ships it kind of came out of nowhere um and he addressed this question here speaking of the future can you tell us a little more about what we can expect and then he says the biggest thing uh right now for ships this was obviously talking about ships is additional capital ships uh we've added only one capital ship since the launch of the feature and they provide a tremendous amount of strategic choice for players within the upcoming genosis territory battle we're going to release a new capital ship and then he says he can't confirm what it is he says i wish we could show more show more benevolence and <laughs> tell you what's coming but negotiations are underway about when we'll share the news so he basically confirms what ship it's going to be so we do know that that's going to be coming we just don't know exactly how but it's is it going to be coming as part of the tb or just launched in tandem with the tb remains to be seen it was also confirmed that we're getting new characters with the Geonosis territory battle right here this came from i think this was i took this screenshot a while ago i, I was <laughs> in so many different places on the forums. I'm pretty sure this came from um, the initial announcement on the road ahead, where it says the Geon it was Carrie. She said the Genosis map will have new characters along with special events. And we're, you go, yeah, I'm pretty confident that was from the road ahead post and so we've known that for a while but that's something else that we do know about the uh, event we also have been told that this is going to be very hard and uh, carrie even resorted to using different languages to communicate this to us uh, well i had to google this she says you're at the bottom of this post uh that they are looking for the uh, dark side territory battle which is she's referring to geonosis here so we also subtly had a confirmation there that it's a dark side territory battle uh, but she says it's going to be Barzo, Barzo, 
Tune. Now look, if you guys get on me for not knowing how to pronounce that, I call I call BS. Like this this is Polish. When I Googled this, this was Polish. I don't I do not need to know how to speak Polish for this channel. But <laughs> these words, it means it translates to very, very hard. And so we, we did have that confirmation from Carrie in the dev QA they ran about a week ago. Now, this was a particularly interesting uh, confirmation that we got. Uh, it's about uh, not just uh, the, the new Geonosis territory battle, but also territory wars in Grand Arena, where Carrie said that the ter that territory wars, territory battles, and Grand Arenas are thought of as the new core um, of the event experience in Galaxy of Heroes. And so I think it's interesting that she throws territory battles in there, and I feel like that is mostly referring to the new territory battles because she's talking about it being the new uh, core experience and the old Genosis territory battle, or the old, sorry, the old dark side, light side territory battles just don't really fit in with that, um, in my opinion. So I think they're really looking for this to be part of the core experience, which by the way, makes me optimistic that it's going to be significantly better than the first two versions. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Some other good things that we found out about the Geonosis territory battle is that the devs mean to have it help us with the gear crunch. Now, I think this is probably assumed in some ways because we did get gear before, but I, well, I'm really hoping, and I'm going to get into this with my wishes, I've kind of already alluded to this, is that they're going to find ways to get us the gear 12 plus gear. Because we know that we're going to be getting the gear 12 finishers, but what about the gear 12 plus gear that right now is limited exclusively to either $50 out of your pocket or uh, top 10 finishes in in the heroic Sith raid or just terrible RNG uh, below rank 10 right now, which is really hard for a lot of us to come by. We did have that confirmation here in the dev Q&A uh, where dev said, uh, we are going to be doing this with the Genosis territory battles and with Grand Arena championships. Um, so this should help to increase the inflow of needed pieces of gear. And so it's kind of vague of what pieces of gear that means. I don't know exactly what that looks like yet, uh, but hopefully that gear 12 plus gear is included in there and hopefully some Carbanti stuff stun guns, stun cuffs, the works. This doesn't directly relate to uh, the Genosis territory battle, but it is worth noting that there was a question about um, a new raid coming, and uh, the devs did tell us that they have been discussing what the next raid will be, so we do have confirmation that we will have a new raid, and that it will come shortly, or er, not shortly, but it will come after the Genosis territory battle. And then it says, and a while after that, so not two months fast follow. Not, not So no two-month fast follow. So we do know that this is going to be kind of the big PvE content we get and that there's not going to be a raid shortly after, but we can expect a raid down the line at some point, hopefully three, four months, somewhere, somewhere around there. And that rounds out everything I could find out that the devs have explicitly revealed to us about uh, Genosis Territory Battles. Again, if there's anything else that I missed, let me know down in the comments. I spent so much time doing Command F trying to find all of <laughs> the, the tidbits about Territory Battles, but it is possible that I missed one or two things. Now, what we want from this Territory Battle, I did get input from my patrons on this, so I want to thank them. A lot of their items matched up with mine that I already had on my personal personal list, but there are a few additions here that I think are absolutely fantastic requests. Number one, and this is my top list, I've already alluded to this, we need to have Gear 12 Plus, not just the Gear 12 finishers. Uh, there's so little ways to get this, and when you add that Gear 12 finisher, it puts so much more stress on that Gear 12 uh, plus gear. So I'm really hoping that comes with gear tw or with uh, Geonosis Territory Battles um, and with Grand Arena Championships for that matter. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I think I've already beat that horse dead. In general, something I'm hoping to see, the number two thing I really want to see is more rewards along the way. Uh, right now, we, we get a little, you know, little tidbits here and there, and then we get a massive payout at the end. Um, Territory Battles is a six-day crunch, and I think one thing that makes it a bit strenuous, in my view, is... I'm, do, I'm just grinding this every day, hitting auto, and I'm not getting anything today. You know, I'm just going to have to wait until Saturday or whatever it is uh, to, to get my payout. And I'm just not as big of a fan of that. I, I would really like to have a little bit more along the way. Maybe there's special missions or little things you can do here and there. Um, shake it up so you can add, earn some extra gear or that kind of thing that you can have delivered to your inbox that night. I would really like to see something more like that. Number three is some kind of mini 
mini boss, our mini raid boss style event. Now that could be really, really good with these guys right here. Um, so there's so much opportunity with the theme of this territory battle. Um, I could easily see this being an actual mini raid. I think that could really add to how exciting this uh, territory battle is. I, I feel like they, they kind of touched on that with the light side territory battle when you get to battle uh, the ATST, but it just, to me, it just wasn't, it just felt like a big character. It looked cool, but how about something that actually legit functions like a raid? I think that would be really, really neat. Have everyone have to contribute damage to it to bring it down. Uh, maybe a payout after that, small payout after. I think that would be awesome. And I could have sworn um, that I saw somebody say that the devs confirmed that we were having a mini boss kind of thing in there, but I could not find it anywhere. And so if they did confirm that, let me know down in the comments if anybody knows. I'd like to see that. Um, I think it might have just been good speculation, uh, but I just, I just couldn't find it. But that's something that I really want to see, and uh, my patrons echoed that sentiment. Number four is pretty important, and uh, for, for the longevity of it, because I think at first, um, territory battles are going to be exciting either way, because it's new content to figure out. Uh, but something, I think one of the weaknesses of light side and dark side territory battles is the battles are just so repetitive, and they're not really that exciting, really. I mean, I just go in there and hit auto for all of them. I just, I don't enjoy it at all. So finding a way to make the battles engaging and exciting something to keep them not um, not stagnant and not so mundane and dull. That was actually a suggestion from one of my patrons, and I thought when I read that, yeah, preach, brother. That is, that is, I think, one of the biggest issues with the current territory battle. If they could find a way to address that, I think it would be very, very positive for the longevity of the new game mode. Number five includes some way to um, speed up phases. Now, there was a debate um, on, on my patron server about if we could have 12-hour phases, and I really really personally don't think that 12-hour phases are the answer to this. Just because you got people from all around the world, I think we need to have that option to have 24-hour phases. Um, however, I think that guild leaders should have the customization of being able to say, we're moving on to the next phase. We finish this, we're going to hit continue, and then the clock will then reset for that guild to 24 hours. So for most guilds, you know, especially committed guilds, you may be able to knock out the first four phases in the first day and then do the next two on the last two days that take a little bit more time. Now, obviously, Geonosis territory battle, I mean, who knows what, how hard it's going to be, uh, but eventually, you know, we're going to have this thing down to a science. Having something like that would be really, really beneficial just so that we don't spend so much time just sitting there just looking at it. And then finally, last but not least, this is a challenge, Capital Games. I'm challenging you. Something new and innovative that I am not smart enough to figure out. <laughs> I'm not a game developer. Like I can, I can speculate and I can think about things that I think would be fun, but this is your job. This is what you do. And you've done a great job of it for things like Grand Arena. Um, I'm really excited for Grand Arena Championships. And so something new in here, something new that we haven't seen before is also something that I think would be really, really great for this game mode. Um, I, I don't have anything else to say about it. I don't know what it would be or what it would look like. Just surprise us. Surprise us with something that makes us go, ooh, something, something like that. You know, if everyone out there goes, ooh, together, then you did it right. All right? Okay. Neato, gang. All right, everyone, that wraps up my list of everything that we know about Geonosis Territory Battles and the six things that I and my patrons want to see uh, with the game mode. What do you want to see from Geonosis Territory Battles that should be coming very soon? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.